and they're about to do a complete practical assessment on you um, for my class. Do you give your permission for me to do this? Please answer. And um, what I'm going to start out doing is by asking you some questions that's going to check your alertness. The person takes their time. So can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? My full name is Alexia Rodriguez. I'm the teacher for the class of 2021. Okay, can you tell me the date and the time? June 5th, August 5th, 2015. Okay. And it's my second period. And who is the president of the United States? The president of the United States of America. Okay, so we can see that Miss Harvey is neurally intact. She's alert, obviously. She's awake, alert, and oriented times three. So I'm looking at her from the top. I'm going to start from ear, nose, and throat. So we're looking at the hair. And she has a full set of hair, long set of hair. I'm just observing. This is the observation portion of my uh, assessment. Um, she has a full set of hair. I don't see any line or any breakage or any hair loss anywhere. And her skin looks intact. I don't see any lesion on her skin. There is no uh, sore or breakdown around her neck. I'm touching her because I'm trying more like an observation. And then I'm going to go ahead and check her hair. There's no lesion on her hair. Like I stated earlier, she has a full set of hair. No hair loss, no alopecia. She has a beautiful eye line. There is nothing missing. And there is no swelling of the eyelid. Um, there is no swelling of the eyelid. There is no sign of jaundice or sclera edema. Her eyelids are even. And I'm looking at her nose. There is no drainage coming out of her nose. I can actually look directly into her nose. Her uh, membrane looks a little bit pink and not red, not bruising. There's no sign of bruising on there. No sign of injury. There's some hair in there. And then I'm going to look at her mouth. I'm looking at her mouth for a moment. Um, no sore on her tongue. All her teeth are intact. Um, her molars, is, uh, molars are intact. There's no lost teeth. And stickers, can you see, ah, uh, her tongue, so it's not inflamed and it's not red. And there's no patchiness to the back of her tongue, so. Um, I'm looking at her ear. There's no deformity of the ear. Obviously, I don't have the equipment to look in her ear membrane to see if there's buildup of fluid or wax. But from the outside, the contour is normal. There's no deformity. There is no sore in the inner ear. There's no redness, no breakdown in both ears. Her ears are symmetrical, as you can see. Same thing over here. I'm looking at her neck. I don't see any limb. I'm actually palpating her neck. There is no um, goiter. Her thyroid is nice. You can barely feel it, but it's nice and it's contour, symmetrical. I don't see any distinction of vein on her neck. No swollen, no sore, none of that on her neck. And um, I've looked at the back of her skin, and now I'm going to do her respiratory and her cardiac assessment, and then we will go down. Uh, from a respiratory standpoint, her chest is rising, obviously. Um, let me, if you would turn this way for me, Miss Harvey. I am palpating the various areas of her lung. I 
I'm going to listen to her lungs. Her lungs sound very clear. I didn't hear any um, Evan Peaches breath sound, no hoarseness, no um, wheezing, um, no rails. She's pretty clear in her left upper and lower, in her right upper, middle, and lower. She's very clear. I'm going to listen to her heart sound at this, at this time. I'm coming here to her second and passive stage. Here, S1 and S2, and I'm going to come down here to the curricular line to the fifth in the passive stage. And I hear S1, S2, and I'm going to try to find the middle and match by coming right in the middle. Very strong heartbeat. Pulses in her feet. This is the uh, posterior tibula. And this is the dorsal. We have like a plus two dorsal pedis and then the posterior tibula of plus two as well. There is no edema in her foot. She has a good capillary refill from a cardiac standpoint. Like a nice capillary refill. And if you're going to do plus She has diastems in all four quadrants, and I'm going to palpate her. Does this hurt me slightly? Yes, it does. No tenderness. Abdomen is soft, a little bit rounder, and I do not feel uh, the border of any organ at all. So therefore.
kind of release your hands. And you hold your hands up. Okay. Hold it up. Now I want for you to stop me from pushing your hand down. Stop me from pushing it down. Let's do that again. Hold your hands up. Now stop me from pressing down. Great job. Squeeze my hand. Okay, good, good. Now I'm going to bring my hands forward. Tell me when you can see my hand. You can see my hand. Okay, from this side, tell me when you can see my hand. You can see my hand. Okay, I'm coming over here. My hand is going back. Tell me when you can no longer see my hand. You can see my hand. What about over here? Can you see my hand? You can see, you see my hand. You can yeah. see my hand. You can, how far do you see my hand? Can you, okay, over here. Can you see my hand? 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 Okay. Now I want you to cover one eye and read what you see over here. Anything at all you can read. Um, I see pictures of water. Okay, see anything? Can you change hands and do the same thing on the other side? It says, Clear sun fills palms, so you read in your view, it's clear sun in the air. Cool. So if we check the vis vision, obviously there's some on, uh, in inequality in the vision. One side is seems to be uh, maybe um, act, uh, acute, and the other one is a little bit off. Obviously, these young ladies wear glasses, so they're not wearing their glasses at this time while we're doing the assessment. You can just stand up for me and uh, touch your toes. She, her spine is very well aligned. You can stand back up. Okay, and then sit for me. Bend your knees. We're going to check your reflexes. As you can see, the reflexes well intact okay so i want you to push 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 against me push against me okay over here we're checking for reflex as well now push 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 against me push against me good all right um and this concludes my head to toe assessment um i'm limited in what i can do because of um because I don't have all the equipment available, but pretty much I kind of went over and explained what I would do if I had the necessary equipment, like checking the uh, corneal reflex with the um, cotton ball to see, and then checking pupillary reaction with light in a dim area, shining the light on the eyes to see um, we will actually do a multiple cost of the lung if we have the necessary stuff. Send, uh, checking gag reflex. Um, on a, a, a location like hers, you already have a gag and a pulp reflex. In an intubated patient, you will go down with a batter, baller and try to suction. And then if they cough and gag, then you know they have a gag. And neuro exam is very detailed because they have various equipment that you can use for the knees, for the different reflexes, and for the uh, cranial nerves. The various cranial nerve check you can do, but I don't have this equipment. I'm limited in it, so I'm explaining. That's why I'm standing here going over what I would do. And this ends my uh, head-to-toe assessment. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for your assistance.